where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Raising kids, cleaning ships. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a full rundown of what happened. Yeah, so, give us the play-by-play. Gene. Oh my <laughs> God! I mean, I mean, okay. So I've never broken a bone in my life, but I've always had shitty ankles. I'm, I'm always rolling my ankles since I was a little kid, right? So I come home from Chomaha, Nebraska. I'm tired AF, and I'm, I go to bed. I wake up at 2 a.m. to the sound of my baby crying. So this is the night, like you, like, you, you came back from Chomaha, you went to sleep, mm-hmm. and then this happened the, your first night back in Austin? My first night back. And I didn't sleep the night before in Chomaha because it's Saturday night. I do two shows, late show, and then you know I don't sleep because I wake up, I get home early on the early morning flight, so I'm exhausted. Uh, and it's 2 in the morning, and I hear the baby crying. And, of course, my husband has a genetic gift where he can't seem to hear babies crying. And I don't know if that's a gift that happens once you become a father. Um, You don't hear anything like that. So he's passed out. I go downstairs. We have these death stairs, these wooden, it's a new house that I live in. So I'm not familiar with all the twists and the turns, big ass blocks, wooden blocks. I make it down the first flight just fine. And then somewhere to the second I think I rolled. I don't remember. I blacked out. I rolled my ankle. I eat shit. And I just. Now, here's the best part is that I just think I've sprained it because I am i don't feel anything. I'm just like laying there like, oh, pull up that first picture. Would you Nadav of me laying on the stairs? So this is how I'm laying on the stairs. <laughs> this is how I'm like just kind of there. And I'm laying Jeez. more to my side. In the beginning. So, so you rolled your ankle at that like at that flat area where the where the stair turns. Think- I don't remember because you black out, you know, like, I don't mm. know. I think I actually ate shit as I was coming down the second to last step, I want to say, on the first flight. So then I eat shit. I hit the, that middle and then I roll down a bit. And so I'm laying kind of on my left side before the paramedics come. And I don't think it's broken because I don't feel anything. And I'm like, Tommy, Tommy, get over here. I just like calmly call him over. <laughs> and he goes, and I go, help me up, man. I, I think I sprained my ankle. And he goes, holy shit. <laughs> he looks at my ankle. He's like, you didn't sprain it. He's like, the bone, there's a bone poking out. I was like, oh, no, what? So at the time it happened, I had so much adrenaline, you know, your body's in shock that I didn't even feel it. All I felt was like waves of like actually adrenaline and nausea. I thought I was going to barf. And then before I know it, EMT comes and he's like, um, how did this happen? And they're looking at my husband like <laughs> she was alone. She was alone when this happened or were you behind her? You know, like everybody assumes that Tom has pushed me down the stairs, which is really fun. Um, I feel like that's they, always the assumption. <laughs> that's always the assumption in these cases, you know, like what? Uh, so anyway, they come and they, they, they find an IV line they put the IV in and it just drips blood all over my pajamas, which is why if you, there's a picture of me in the hospital later, there's just blood on my white pajamas now. Yeah. Wait, what's, oh, yeah, that's what that red pizza slice on your leg <laughs> on your pajama <laughs> pants is. I thought that hey, was man, just like, I, I thought that was just designer pajamas. That's blood. <laughs> <laughs> that's blood. <laughs> so. And here's the weird thing. I, I think I'm, I, on some unconscious level, I sensed something was going to happen that night because, A, I put on nice matching pajamas, which is really not my style. You knew and you were B, going out. <laughs> I knew I was going to something bad was going to happen. And then, B, I was wearing like a bralette. Even I slept in like a sleeping bra, which I normally never do. So it was like I was ready for action. So then they finally they pump me full of fentanyl. This is me in the hospital. Um, if, can you get a picture of the bone, the ankle that's like, yeah, oh there it is. Oh, my God. You got, a, you got a Michelin man tire around your ankle. <laughs> Bro. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> and, of course, I'm appalled because my pedicure was not on point, And I'm sure they were all talking about that in the hospital. I'll, I'll tell you what, Disgusting Christina, the, the ankle really draws attention away from the tits. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing, right? That little meat stick. And then the best part too. So I broke it. It turns out I broke two bones on my fibula down there. I did completely dislocated my ankle. Oh my so God. Okay. So, so, so this bone is shattered and then this one is dislocated. 
<laughs> Am I reading yeah. this x-ray correctly? Yes. <laughs> yes. So they, they, they dislocate that. And then up here on the upper part of the fibula, it's broken too. So I've broken it in one, two, three different places and my ankles dislocated. Wait, like all the way up in the, like near yeah. the knee so bone? I'll show you guys even. I'll show you. It's still kind of colorful. I don't know if you can see the colors. Yeah, uh, so right up here, bit. it's still kind of green. Oh this bone, God. it was broken here. So, but they reset it perfectly. So I didn't need any screws. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm in the <laughs> ER and I'm, it's, so, it's gruesome. <laughs> but here's the weird thing is that I'm, I'm pretty fucking calm because I've seen Tom go through it. And I think having watched him go through it all, I was like, oh, I know what they're going to do. They're going to reset my bones and then we're going to have surgery and it'll be fine. And then wait. Um, so they reset the top bone. OK, so they give me um, they, they're like, we're going to reset your shit now. You're, you're not going to want to be awake for this. So they give me ketamine and I have a Hell fucking yeah, crazy dude. four dimensional <laughs> trip and I see Pac-Man and I start crying and I tell him I come out of my ketamine trip and I'm like, I love you. I love our children. I'm crying. And then they reset the bones and they're like, what's your pain? I'm like, there's no fucking pain. I'm still at a, I'm like at a two. Oh my God. So they reset everything. And then I was in surgery within like four hours and then, and then I got home. So it was really quick. Oh, and, I, I have to, and let me tell you something. Okay. Now here's the thing. Not off. This is what I've been thinking about. Remember when Tom broke his bones and I was yeah, like, I remember nah. that. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I don't know. Childbirth has to be way worse. Now looking back, Tom's injuries, cause he had two, Ma major that right, was probably the, very painful the arm and the leg but for me childbirth way worse than broken bones way worse Sorry. way worse than uh than breaking your leg in six places yes, Dude, yes. look at how dislocated this fucking ankle <laughs> is bro I know. Do they, and then look at them <laughs> do they reset it with like one of those like mallets where they just kind of hit it back into place i don't know because i was on Ketamine. Oh, yeah. You don't high. know how they did it. I was dissociating. <laughs> and they told Tom to leave the room while they did it. They're like, you don't want to see this. It's pretty gruesome. Oh, my God. I'm looking so at they... this one with the pins. Oh, my. Look at the pins. Yeah. Show them oh the pins. Oh, my this is God, great. bro. <laughs> <laughs> so they put all that, that fucking hardware in my leg. And the guy was like, oh this is just so you know, God. you're signing this consent form that when you leave, you're going to have all this metal in you. I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. I want to walk. Do you just put it in? Let's get on with things. I gotta go fucking see my kids. You and Tom are twinsies now. I know. I know. God damn. So it so they gave me an epidural in my my ass. It lasted for two days. So I got to walk around with this like two bags of drugs and I I learned how to use crutches and then all that fucking shit. And then I got a scoot scoot, which is way better now. But um Wow, so that sucked. Hmm? So it's almost bittersweet that uh that Tom <laughs> broke half of his body in December because you guys were prepared for this. Yeah. Like he knew we all, we both knew what to expect and he was a great nurse to me. And, and I was like, okay, I know the pain's coming. Like once the epidural wears off, I'm like, oh, this is going to suck. And I was just bracing myself, but then it, it was like, okay, it kind of lit up at night. It felt like my leg was on fire at night, but then I just took some oxys and I was done. Cause I feel like contractions are fucking way crazier. Like for me, like your, you know, your cervix dilates from this to 10 centimeters and your body is like opening and you push something out of you. That to me was like, that was fucking crazy. You feel like your insides are getting ripped out. So I don't know. I, I just said what I'm saying is like scale to childbirth and having kids. I'm like, oh, this ain't fucking shit, homie. Hold Everybody's on. like, you seem in a good mood. I'm like, because it's not it's not it's six weeks. And then I'm on with my life. <laughs> it's not nine months and then a year of like here, taking care of a baby. Get the fuck out of here. Here's, here. here's the question, though, you know, because it's yeah. uh, uh, you saying childbirth hurts more. You're willing to do yeah. childbirth again. Would you throw yourself down? Do the, would you throw yourself down the <laughs> stairs again? <laughs> throw myself down the stairs again oh if i had to pick yeah would you like 100 yeah, percent. if if no matter in whichever situation you would end up with a new kid which one of these oh. would you rather do oh if i have to end up with a kid at the end of it right like imagine i, I would Im rather yeah like just imagine like uh, uh you know like rewind two years or three years before julian was born and they're like yeah. all right in order to give birth to julian you can either do it via traditional childbirth 
or we could shatter your leg in six places. Hey, here's the deal. <laughs> I also added pregnancy and childbirth because pregnancy is nine months of torture. And then the culmination is childbirth. That combined, that length of torture is what I'm saying is harder than six weeks on crutches. I rehab, I twit, you know. So I would rather do, yeah, break my fucking leg, dude, and put pins in it and let me lay down. I nap all day. My life's been great. I hate to say it, but like, it's like a mom staycation. I sleep a lot more than I've ever slept. People bring me food. I don't have to do shit. By the way, last night, Julian cried. Tom heard it. That was weird and had to go deal with it. And I got to sleep. I highly recommend doing this, ladies. If you want just like a break, just go ahead and throw yourself down the stairs. <laughs> <Don't> do <that. sighs> oh my! But it God. has been nice. And some of these were cut like that post-surgery picture. Oh, show that. Uh, so there's my little oh meat my, stick. This oh is. My God. <laughs> This is one week post-op. So this is the side meat. That's where they cut. They put bolts in there and then show the back meat. That one's really gnarly. Yeah, that one. So I'm going to have some fucking cool scars. Hell yeah. Any you me. Oh I'm going to get some tats, Any. What are we going to get? Hey, you getting a spider down there, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I think I have to get a tattoo now, right? Because it's going to be gnarly. That'd be pretty rad. What? Yeah, yeah. you want to brainstorm on what to get on there? <laughs> uh, like a, a traditional butterfly, maybe? <laughs> no, something like childbirth is way worse. Or like a vagina with a with crowning head of a baby head coming out of a snatch, maybe? Uh, yeah, just, just words. <laughs> I'd rather be birthing. <laughs> <laughs> no. The other way around. I'd rather break this shit again than pregnancy break my other but leg break my <laughs> where my mom's where my mom's where my mom's at where my mom's wearing thongs hitting bongs at raising kids cleaning ships need a long nap where my mom's where my mom's where my mom's at where my mom's at